We're rolling. Yeah. That's us rolling. Live. Hello, everybody. Hello, Hello. William. Should Hi, just both we? do the intros at the same time. <laughs> yeah, we are. We, we do you, do you guys have a set intro on your podcast? It's it's just us going hello. It's normally William fucking up a sponsorship. <laughs> Many sponsorships have you got now? <laughs> None, because William is <laughs> fucking them up. They, they enjoy my style of getting things wrong. He was like, "Let me do it. Let me do it." I was like, "Okay, go ahead." He was like, "Ah, man, blade." <laughs> Oh, no, yeah. no, you man called skipped. it man blade. You called it skip man. <laughs> no, I you didn't. called it man skip. You called it everything other than fucking man. <laughs> throughout, the, uh, throughout the entire podcast, you called it the wrong thing. Every time it's something different. Because you done it wrong <laughs> at the start, I was copying you. Mickey called it manscape 3.0 earlier. What is it? Lawnmower 3.0? I don't know. They sponsored my podcast for fucking ever and then I haven't, I haven't heard from them. You know what I mean? I don't hear from them, they don't send shit. I just keep saying it every month, and then every once in a while they're like, here's a bit of money. I was going to say, I thought they still did. I, do. I try and lose them every <laughs> week, like. Right, and it doesn't happen. And not in the beer as well. The beer 52, I slag it to death. And it's still but happening. Like, use the code whatever, and they'll send you eight fucking horrific like beers. beers you <laughs> I've farted in the bottle and I've yeah. emailed it to you here. Like fucking queef bubbles. <laughs> if, if your beer's <laughs> called B52, it sounds like it's going to be a bomb, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Let's face it. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> but yeah, no fucking great to be here doing the podcast. Hello? I guess this is our twenty fifth episode crossover. <laughs> pop, pop, pop. <laughs> and I'm dressed like your man used to do yeah. Westwood. <laughs> 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 the most ridiculous. It was cheap. It was fifteen quid. Before, <laughs> before he started daggering checks, it, that was some of my favorite internet material. When he's like fucking at a you know like Jamaican like daggering thing, <laughs> which if you're like a twenty two year old black guy looks quite athletic. <laughs> And then Wes would come in, Wes would come in like a fucking, you're like a fucking white walker and you're like stiff, just riding these <laughs> girls at like, you know, a fucking student union somewhere. I want got done for it. I want, did I? Yeah. Like what? They just went, you're going to jail. <laughs> stop, stop your 60, stop grinding on 18 year olds. <laughs> He's, he's like, wag one with the he was like He was like Jimmy Savile, Jimmy Savile from Wish. <laughs> How do you as if Jimmy Savile's the fucking peak, like... <laughs> Pedo? That's what you're looking. I heard today Steve Coogan's supposed to be playing him in a drama. That'll be class. I know. Steve, Steve Coogan's he, fucking great. He'll get a fucking... What's it? What's like a Brit Oscar? An Emmy? An Emmy. BAFTA. A BAFTA. He'll get a BAFTA for it. Yeah. Now Jimmy Savile would have given you a BAFTA already. <laughs> Help you wash yourself can in I, the bath. Can I bath your kids? Yeah, come on in, Jimmy. Where far away? Yeah. Oh my so God. mental. Like when you look back, I watched. I watched the program about it. Like it's mental. Like when you actually watch. We were talking about this the other night. Yeah. When you watch the Jimmy Savile stuff and the way I get on, how nobody went. What the fuck? I I saw an old clip. It's not Jimmy Savile. Do you know the lead singer of the Lost Prophets? Yeah. It was like an old TV four show, and he was dressed as Santa. And this is creepy as fuck. It's not even funny, but he just has like a, a toddler. Yeah, and he's like kissing it in the forehead, and the other presenter goes, Haha, "Stop kissing the baby!" And he's like, "Why?" And watching it back now, I'm like, "That's disturbing." Yeah, well, he was fucking the worst of the worst because it was like babies. Yeah. His one that's like it's not even really funny to joke about because then you're like, "Oh, it's really upsetting what he did." Yeah, when he's when he's like, "Can you send me a picture?" Funnier that he's Welsh, kinda. <laughs> send, me a, send me a picture of the baby. I but then he's singing like, "Let's train yeah. home." <laughs> Thank you for coming to the show. That What's that Ender fucking up? Dragon chick? What's it called? Dragon Ninja fucking. That's a riff. Dang, 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 that tune. And everyone's got the fucking flared jeans and the chain and all. Ah, <laughs> uh, bro, on a rooftop skating. I'm 30! You know what I mean? Go home. <laughs> That's a tune, though. Can play on the guitar. That is one thing I've realized with getting older is like people you loved as a kid. And they turn out to be pedos. It's Fuck quite upsetting. Kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They would have loved me too. Like yeah. Drake Bell. No, from Drake and Josh. Aye, but is that weird that actual Drake was in that show, was he? Or was that a different show? Actual Drake was in a different show. Oh, right, okay, no Grassy. No but right. like Drake Bell, no, the fucking, the yeah. cool one. Yeah. The one you didn't think was a pedo. I know, He's a pedo. If, when you're a child star, you've got that fucking Michael Jackson thing where like you didn't have a childhood. Now you're like, let me hang out at a fucking park here. Aye. But also you're a grown man with a boner. <laughs> Things change. <laughs> well, they do say do something that you love. <laughs> if do something you love, you'll never work a day in your yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I always used to joke about Ralph Harris. I used to say he's going to come out. Did he fingered a few cats in animal hospital? But fuck, he done worse than that. Uh, a few kids in like, an actual hospital? And he fucking, he done something to a reporter from here in the shank of Lezzard's other. 
That that to me is like the worst of the worst. I have one. The that leisure centre. <laughs> <laughs> The I don't even have a slide for fuck's sake. But I mean, it's one of them ones. Like he really was up for it, or like he didn't give what a fuck. What the fuck was he doing there? I've never heard know. this. Yeah. What's no. this story? Back in the eighties, when people used to have like exotic pets. And all. This is like when I mentioned the <laughs> alligator in a pool. I remember the fucking lottery starting, and they all laugh because they can't remember. But no, one of the reporters from here, I'm not mentioning her name. Yeah. But he f- pushed her up against the wall and assaulted her in the Shanka Leisure Centre. Fair enough. It was like when I read the whole thing that he done that one thing, and I went, "What balls that boy had on the shanker?" <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Fucking chance his armor, like. <laughs> <laughs> and then when you see the reporter, you're sort of going, "What the fuck was he thinking, too?" You know, that's that's the next thing. <laughs> but, but <laughs> oh, oh, not attractive. <laughs> When you're used it's to Frank fingering Mitchell. kangaroos for the first he half of your life, he was in the lower take... shackle. Maybe she looked well compared to everybody else in it. I don't know. Yeah, is this your queen? <laughs> <laughs> see, it's weird for me because even all that started coming out, like oh, Australia. No, like <laughs> what do you mean? I mean that. Do you remember that? Like that period of time, like that year where it was like, do you remember this guy, Pedo, Pedo, yeah. Pedo, and everyone's like, could you believe it? And I was like. All of these men look exactly like pedophiles. Oh, well, that's the thing. As soon as you see it, you know, it's like, well. Yeah. Yeah. You savvy. used to do that bit about it, didn't you? About Jimmy well, Savile? I did a bit about funny, Jimmy yeah. Savile. And then, Best bits. I love that. And then someone did, Cam Bridges did a bit about Jimmy Savile that was very, like, very similar. And on the one night, I got fucking bombarded with messages like, oh my God, he did your bit. No? And I was like, I don't know, like, but. Probably, so, do you think it's parallel thinking? Like, Bridge, or is, is Bridges listening? Yeah, no. he's got a team of right, he's writers. Team of writers, yeah. Set at Lavery. Get that BL fifty two. That looks fucking <laughs> looks awful. Comes out with a fucking hat on. on. Yeah. Get but the get the fuck, Thomas. The closest thing I have, <laughs> closest thing I have that is Jeremy McCord doing my bit and fucking sketchy. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You win that one, Colin, like Cam Bridges or Dermot yeah. Cure and sketchy doing a bit of your stuff. And he went straight from there to. And he didn't even read it. Sweden. <laughs> All right. And he drives a bus. Um... <laughs> But yeah, but it wasn't even him that wrote it. You're the one comedian I'd never steal from because I know you'd find where I live and beat my well, fucking. L- Liam Watson was the one that took the bit. <laughs> How do you know? Because he asked Dermot why he done it, and he says that was Liam wrote that that stand up stuff. He wrote that, and it was a bit that I had on like YouTube. So we basically just went around everybody's stuff and changed it a wee bit. Evil bastards! Yeah. And he got twelve fifty an hour for that too. Bastard. Man, you're. <laughs> <laughs> This was back 10 years when there was a bit of money <laughs> in the BBC. He's like, you got 12.50 an hour writing for me. Now they're, like, now they're like, we've got a part in this show and it's only going to cost you £500 <laughs> if you want to be in it. Yeah. And it's going to be on at quarter to two in the morning on a Tuesday. And everybody will love it. Any interest? And you can only get it if you have a licence. I know, fucking cack. <laughs> what were you saying you remember the lottery being invented? What did yeah, you no, these ones all... Laugh at when me it whenever. came in, like yeah, like, yeah. I think and I remember vaguely, like I would have been yeah. young, like. But, no, but you said I remember sweet chili dropping, and that was <laughs> in our school. And I mean, like this girl was, Linda fucking yeah. lost her mind. Like she ran like a wee sick form center, like in a mobile. At, you know, like a part that was detached from the school, and she was like fucking. What do you call your man at a Forrest Gump? You got Bubba. the shrimp guy. She was like that was sweet chili. Jack of potatoes, sweet Stitch. chili, tuna, sweet chili, chicken, sweet chili, like just fucking everything. everything across the board. I mix this one with mayo, sweet chili mayo on chips <laughs> with cheese, <laughs> more sweet chili, but a, sweet but chili. But fanta. all fucking loved it. Like, oh yeah, couldn't get enough. Yeah. I, I don't even like it now. Yeah, because you had that much. Too much. Second, used to be a guy, guy who worked in our school canteen, and I'm gonna say he's not right in the head. Right. That's just the Belfast way of going someone's mentally disabled. Yeah. But is that how you knew he was mentally disabled? No, I could see his face. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm allowed. Right. But he his prices made no fucking sense. So if oh, you're he get, was selling stuff? He was the guy on the, oh, yeah. the tell. So it was like you're getting the burger, one sixty, burger and chips, one twenty. Throw a bottle of water in there, four pounds. That's a meal day, bro. <laughs> no no. It's That's... just he didn't know. <laughs> well Yeah, I mean you wanted sauce this, on the th- chips? That, that woman seven. Linda I was talking about would sell like Freddos that said 15p on it and be like, that's 50p. You don't mean to be in the... It that's would, it would t- say the fucking price on it and she'd yeah. be charging more than that. That's that's that say, shop says, says on the, the tin, part of multi-pack. Do, do not say sell. <laughs> Four pounds. 150. Maureen said, uh, my wife, for your listeners, she went to some big fucking nunny school, you know what I mean, all run by nuns and whatever, and 
there would be a tuck shop and if you spent more than like a certain amount they would they'd have to like jo- they weren't serious like but they'd take your hand and be like sinner because you spent more than like 50p or something <laughs> The closest thing that happened to us like that was... I'd have cr- been like, don't touch, I just had a wank, don't touch it. <laughs> the Chris, the, the Chris, do a wee rosary or you got too many whoppers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is that real? <laughs> no, but... Two <laughs> refreshers, get in that box. <laughs> Start praying. I can't believe you had a packet of Wrigley's. <laughs> but the Christian brother head master in our school was going fucking mental, right? And I remember Eric Cantona had fucking done the Kung Fu kick. Aye. And he went around the school taking the newspapers off everybody because everybody bought the newspaper because obviously he didn't have a phone then. We had to physically buy things to read and out. So everybody had the paper and he went around and took all them. And then the next one was he went around and took roast beef crisps off anybody or smoky bacon because it was ice wet. <laughs> you were meant to be off me. That'd have been the one time I proper lose my fucking shit. <laughs> You're really allowed crisps if it's fish flavour. <laughs> it was fucking ridiculous. Like, I was like, no. And here was, no, it's meat. No, no, meat. No meat. And Strange I like, fact. Walker's crisps. The, there's more, like, animal product in the cheese and onion than there is the beef flavoured ones. <laughs> Man, <Mabel. laughs> Enjoy that. <laughs> Fuck you, vegans. <laughs> you know what I mean? Is there getting the meat belly I want that uh, or not? Give it a knee. <laughs> I love that fucking soundboard. You want one of them? I, I want yeah, one for I Christmas. I can see it in your face. Not there. You know, a couple of more Manscaped ads. Yeah. A couple of bald scrotes later. <laughs> That's yours, baby. Boom, Some boom, smooth boom. shafts. We have got a soundboard. You just wouldn't be anything. It would just be constantly you hitting the fucking buttons. Every time you go to speak, you're boom. You're like those keyboards you got in school. Like, dictionary, DJ. Well, you're too old. Oh, yeah. I didn't go to a school like that. <laughs> Remember that all-girls school you went to? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> the one dude in an all-girls school. Really? Yeah. You, Eric Cantona, and a load of women. Just myself. Rolf Harris. It was brilliant. <laughs> I'm sure. I had a similar experience in our college. It's the only dude in it. Just sitting there, a couple of gay dudes, a load of chicks. Me just sitting there like a beefcake. <laughs> See, I went to, I did politics in uni, so it was just me and sweaty virgins. <laughs> This is why you shouldn't get benefits. <laughs> Sweaty first. Where did you go to? J Town. Well, uh, represent. Did you have to get a bus sir? I drove. Did you? Yeah. It was a sweet, sweet car. How long were you there for? Three years. Did you enjoy it? No. It's not. It's it. I kind of like we would go there. I grew up near that, but you would go to like the fucking swimming pool and play football, and, and I just remember going like people people come here from like England, I'm like yeah. To st- like to stay here, yeah, in this fucking like industrial estate. Feel bad for the one Chinese student who yeah. couldn't get in the Queens, so he's been fucked off the jail. Someone showed him that visit Belfast thing, and it's all fucking you know <laughs> tours and f- boats and shit. And then he gets there, and he's just like, "What? The where fuck? am I? <laughs> Chernobyl? <laughs> where the fuck? Yeah, where am I? Like, <laughs> what can you do around here? There's a which vendor direction machine? is there? People <laughs> that way." Can I go down to the seashore and smell the fucking sewers? Yeah. that's pumped in it. <laughs> Imagine uh-huh. your uni experience being that, like the halls of Georgetown. Sure, McCann Stein. went there. M- McCann's first year or something, he lived there. Because I went down to I dropped him, him up. I dropped him off there. Yeah, yeah, and it just looked like you were dropping him at like the side of a fucking nuclear testing centre. <laughs> Where do you live? In that. In there. In the reactor there. Uh, Cozy as fuck. Sorry, my head's so fucking remember big. Remember I dropped him down, I remember. I'm going there next year. <laughs> You're going to J-Town? Oh, I didn't finish my degree yet. Imagine being in uni, hungover as fuck, and this cunt's just beside you. I know. Do you want to see my dagger? <laughs> <laughs> you gonna like you did here today? Just walk in, take your top off, and put on the fresh fucking tracksuit top. Yeah. Sorry, lads. <laughs> Busy today. He's in the class beside you, and Kieran Bartlett's lecturing. That'd be the fucking dream uni class. Uh, we were in the the green room of the lemonade on Saturday, and I was sitting with no top on, and I don't think anything about it. An arm was just sitting in the room facing me, and Jordan walked in. An arm man. I'm so glad you're. <laughs> I was freaking. <laughs> He's just sitting. The baller started pulling the fucking bar off himself. <laughs> I went in the back, the back, the back room of Lavery's, and you were just standing in your boxers for some reason. Last Wednesday, was Mickey there? We were just yeah. out of the pistol. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Mickey were doing so. <laughs> Did you tell him about uh, the guy who got a photo with you in Lavery's? Which one? Oh, and he thought I was Mickey. No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> the first Lavery's we done remember me and him were on yeah 
<laughs> and I went in the toilet and there was a guy like overly excited because he had got a picture with you and he was like it's unbelievable Colin Gattis was just standing there like man I got a photo of him and all right so I was well, standing pissing just standing there pissing and I was can't believe there. he pisses like us like and the, the rest next of minute us. I turned around and wiped my hands and he went ah it was your man Bally and I got a photo of you he grabbed your man your man right I'll take a photo and your man's laughing his bollocks off and I go what are you laughing at and when he your mom went I'm going out to show everybody when he went out your mom went you know he had his dick out the whole time every photo you had your dick out no he did <laughs> The guy in the photos on his cock head. Just so excited for that. <laughs> he just was standing. Just broke through the he, even, he was just standing his armory. I didn't even know when he had this fucking cock out. <laughs> So there's a guy floating about with these Deli- Deliberately, like, or was I don't know. He I just, mean, if it's who I'm thinking it was, he probably forgot this cock was out. <laughs> oh, right. You know what I mean? He was. There. It's in one of them videos. And I'll take the guy's just like, like, pat me in the back. That's him. Super, uh, super that's him. Alex, exactly. The guy was good. enthusiastic. I appreciate it. Yeah, he was. But I think he probably was so excited he forgot his cock was out. He probably yeah. walked out with it. Yeah. Big too. So I'm at the Big. stage. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely cock. Did he tag you? <laughs> For a cock on him, like. Serious pipe. Uh, <laughs> I'm at the stage. People kind of know who I am, but they don't quite know who I am so I always get mixed up for other people I was in a fucking bar on Saturday I was taking piss in the toilet so I'm starting remembering holy fuck it's you comedian boy and I was like aye aye goes fuck I love you McCann McCarney Agni what McCagney I mean there is a type like you yes. know what I mean if yeah. you fucking I took a photo of all these ones the other night at Lavery's and it's like it's like if someone was in a movie and they needed six <laughs> stunt, stunt doubles. doubles that were like <laughs> didn't look exactly the same, but you we know, what I mean? just fucking just fell. Like a lineup for fucking somebody that done something. The if comedian. they're like, we're shooting the thing, give me six fellas, yeah. fat fellas with glasses. Yeah. And he think, nah, just f- lads. Like comedians here are either six foot five or four foot eight. <laughs> like there's no in between. <laughs> you know what I mean? At a glance, you're just like, that's just same <laughs> same fella changed his shirt. You know what I mean? <laughs> Same arms and all, <laughs> a few tattoos, like fucking whatever. It's like a culty fucking get the guy. And it's just fucking, uh, fucking, we're all called Jill. Uh, but sure, even you were telling me about the, the gig in Antrim or something, the girl was like, oh my God, I want to buck you or something. And they're like, I can't tie mine. You're like, oh, to buck him. Oh, Mickey's in a relationship and then got to you. <laughs> what's, the, what's the younger, sort of vague hybrid of the two of them? I'll buck him as well. Just anyone, like. <laughs> yeah. What version of this guy? I'm coming out of the disabled toilet. You looking at me? Uh, <laughs> it's got no feeling enough. She says, "What is it? I hit me twenty on." She says, "Oh." I I used to always think like I'd love women to be all over you. See now, after your show, sometimes when you come up to me and be like, "She's looking a bit of you," and I'll go over to her and I'm like, "I don't want any of this." I I I'm scared. I stand That's why beside you. Need you. To go and get married. Yeah. <laughs> I stand beside you like Paddy don't let the women take me I'm small <laughs> enough they can there was a girl come up to me in Antrim which was the later gig again mm-hmm. and she said uh, you're my da and I was like what <laughs> she says you're my da and I went who said and she went mama and I went how does she know it's me and she says she says you used her like a puppet at a party I and she I was just waiting to use that line and I went over to him and I said even if she is mine I don't want to know her now. Yeah. Because <laughs> I was just talking like that. She was raised like that. I don't want to know her. No, I, 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 no, I think she just had that line up or something. And then she went, where's my mother? And her mother was over in the corner, just going. But that's the second time but I don't know, if the, don't know if the man was going like this. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then the other night was, uh, fuck, was the other night thing happened? And the wee lad sent me at the other night. And I was like, this is getting fucking ridiculous Well, well I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, was I not telling you about it on Saturday? No. Must have been You may have done, but you know. Must have been Arn I was telling about. There was a guy sent me a message. Tell me, sure. Fuck him, call him. Brain damage, William. Since you're arguing about it, I'll listen. Um, no, there's another wee guy sent me a thing and says, ah, it's my dad, my dad. And then he was at the show the other night and he fucking posted it and says, down saying my dad, the fucking thing. And I'm going, this is getting fucking ridiculous. Like. Yeah. I, think it's, I think it's just become a thing now. I'm convinced. I'm convinced Hasbala is your kid, like. Possibly. They're the wee Russian. Uh, we squeaky one. Spit an image, Emily. Somebody's had him and Carrick Fergus or something and went, <laughs> give him away. I heard a, a line similar to the the puppet thing. Uh-huh. I was in town one day and it was pride and I, I, I had no idea. I had no idea it was even on. I was like, fucking, it's a nightmare. And it was around like, uh, where like the cathedral is, around that sort of, where John Hewitt is yeah. kind of. And there was these ones, two gay couples, and one, one of them was like, we're away home here and all. And he's like, you there, fuck. And, you know, you know, like stay out and drink and all that like slagging each other and they were getting further and further away and they were like no you're fucking soft now you can't even fucking slagging each other and then one of the guys just goes I'm going to take him home where I'm like an oven glove 
just when they were, you know what I mean? They were both walking away, shouting at each other. I'm taking him back to where I'm like an oven glove. I'm just in the middle, like. <laughs> Get that bit down. <laughs> gay dudes say the filthiest shit. Oh, they're but fucking. Like, uh, some of them are fucking. I mean, there's two types of gay guys. They sort of quiet, like, oh, is he gay? And then the other one, we were like, the guy just always has three quarters of a hard on. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> <Predator>. <laughs> yeah, just like, uh, like sweaty a wee bit, coked up. <laughs> fucking, everybody gonna come soon or what? <laughs> And they're just fucking groping tits at anyone, girls. Yeah, they're like, I'm gay, don't worry about it. <laughs> I, oh, I had to finger the birds and all. <laughs> I know so many gay guys that will, like, finger a wee bird, just be like, just want to see if I still have it. I'm like, what do you mean, still have it? You a f- finger? You're gay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they've teeth in them things. <laughs> you probably do seem like you do still have it, because it seems less threatening. to be like, oh, my goodness. Yeah, because yeah. they could change them in front of them. It's like, they don't see them as, like, proper fellas, but then the women use them in the same way. Do you know what I mean? I've heard a few wee stories. Yeah, like so have I. I mean? I've heard like, ones like where getting a, f- uh, getting he was doing my balls in, so I had my wee gay mate Robert down and was just like, well, fuck me here, just, let's fucking, just to get my own back in him. <laughs> I've never heard a story like that. That's no. exclusively a you thing. Is it? <laughs> have you I've, ever? I've heard a very few of those. Not that extreme, but I've heard, yeah. you know, like, you know, oh my God, we were all fucking steaming and just, you know, going with each other and whatever, you know? Yeah. Or they're like, oh, it's fun to have a fucking guy with his dick out in the room. Mm-hmm. <laughs> John, sorry, he's gay. I, I agree with that. <laughs> I'm fine with that. <laughs> John, this podcast took a weird turn. No, not even like get your dick. Just funny. Do you dick remember that tail. story? It was going about John Barrowman. Apparently, he was like, get this dick out on set, and people were like, that's so disgusting. I'm like, I probably see it nine in the morning. I'm a wee bit tired. If I look over and someone's pulls their cock out, I'm gonna laugh at that. It's hilarious. the funniest thing I ever seen in my life, and it took me about forty five minutes to recover from it. I was playing rugby at City of Derry, and this guy, I was injured. I was like, I decided smoking. And the, the, the fire door of the changing rooms, you know, was out the back of this building. And I was just fucking, you know, daydreaming, looking about. And this guy goes, is there any doctors about can take a look at this? And I, as I looked around, he had yanked his cheeks so far apart that I could nearly see in his body. But you know what? Do you know what? It just, I fucking died laughing just because I was so like fucking not even paying attention. I was like, fell for it. And he's just like, Argh! It, look, bag it just looked like the motorway with the go guards and the, oh, like the start of a Bond movie. And I was, <laughs> There's I an apple fuck. greens in it. Like. Uh, <laughs> I lost it. Like I was, I was killing myself. I, I does the, the hardest I ever made Mickey laugh was that time we were playing the football game. I did something similar. I was pretending to be hurt, and I called over Jordy. I was like, Jordy, mate, come here. You need to see this. And he came over, and I just whipped my balls out. <laughs> but it was pre manscape so it was like fucking. Tom Hanks and Castaway down there. Yeah. I've never seen Red Mickey Hanna. laugh so hard. <laughs> I know. I remember. Uh, Did Jordan lick his lips? <laughs> no, he licked mine. <laughs> <laughs> he just said he went. He went down to some comedian's football match, and he's like, "Man, I was tired after the warm up." And I was like, "Yeah, what? Were you, th- you know, expecting?" <laughs> Who's this, Jordan? Yeah, like he goes, "I've still got it from when I was nine. <laughs> <laughs> that guy abuses that new heart. Let me tell you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> It's like George Best with a new liver. He's like, is that That's sweet to go? That's what he said to him. Everyone else would be like, this is a second chance. Thank you, God. And he's like, nah, blank slate. Let's, Let's see if we can fuck this one up quicker. <laughs> blank canvas. <laughs> like Roy Castle's when he got cancer. He says you've got a year to live and he went, I'll do it in six months. <laughs> he didn't even, he just worked in a bar all his life. He didn't even smoke. Oh, he was a trumpet player or something, wasn't he? It's not what it was. Are we talking about Jordy or Roy Castles? No, Roy Castles. Roy Castles. Roy Castles. Roy Castles was a trumpet he, and a tap dancer or something. So he worked in bars the entertainment. He got all the smoke. It was all secondary uh, smoke. Cigar and Shout out to Jordy <laughs> Robinson there. <laughs> Shout out to Jordy. Enjoy them balls. <laughs> I remember we went to Rathlin, um to do a gig and we stayed and got absolutely fucking hammered. Like, And the next morning everyone was just poisoned. Like, and I got up dead early. I think I was the first one up. Shane probably got up for a run and I, I got up <laughs> and I was walking through the house and I was like oh my god fucking and I wasn't sure if there was other people staying in this hostel or not and all I heard was the fucking bathroom door creak open and I didn't want to be like I knew there was other people on the other side of this house thing I didn't want to be like who's that there and I sort of like casually was like hey, let's crack look around Dave's just standing there we grey dick through the door <laughs> <laughs> we grey <laughs> we grey fucking his, his dick looked like it died you know <laughs> Two weeks before he- Like E.T. when he's sick he's Yeah like- Yeah Yeah exactly <laughs> E.T.'s finger when he's sick I know you were being a wee bit thing for Dave Or like E.T.'s a quarter size I can't <laughs> <laughs> no. 
<laughs> so the Dave have a big fat one with the base. It's a long it, thin shaft and it goes up like And then a big fucking hammerhead on yeah. it. <laughs> I, I used to get mine out so much, the comedians. I think you mentioned it on the podcast one time, and I went, right, I think I have to stop. Uh, <laughs> I think I have a problem here. I was in London, and I listened to it, Mark, because all I done was listen to it. Sitting on the subway with your oh, dick out? Oh, it was him and Mickey on the podcast. And, oh. and he's going like, yeah, it's getting a bit... I've seen it that many times. Yeah, it's I feel like I've never... Because when I started stand-up, I was too young for you to be putting your dick out in front of me. Because so, you were 17? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Times have changed. I know, so I... I need to see it. I haven't seen it. Have you not? I've never seen it. You're your probably one. You and Jordan, I suppose, the younger generation. Um, see, times like, don't, we don't put our the young out lads. Anymore. The young lads, yeah, it's a different generation. But it's you know, if you've if your dick's <laughs> been out this long time, it's not as much of a novelty. Like if someone just pulled it, if Shane pulled his dick out and started showing people, he'd be in jail. You yeah. put in the yeah the background yes. work where yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Paddy pulls it what, it nor- what hard started was stopping in motorways and the way back from Straban and fucking Oma and I would open the door having the piss and go what about that I remember Shane's face the first time like he was just like tut- this he was just tutting the whole time tutting <laughs> tutting the whole time <laughs> he was just like fuck's sake <laughs> that's the thing about the whole Louis CK thing like in all those Me Too movement things I'm like you know was it a sexual assault or was were all comedians Half fucking fuck mental? Yeah. Like, twi- like no, yeah. there's no people watch live at the Apollo now and go, "I'm a comedian," but like twenty years ago or thirty years ago, people were just the people that did comedy were all mental. Yeah, not in an evil way, but they're all no. fucking yeah, lunatics. They right in the head, yeah. Uh, Even now, if you're in a green room full of children or not children, sorry, comedians, we're all children. <laughs> <laughs> I want one of them now. I want that. I've just for you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're in a groom room for the comedian, we're all just children. Do you know actually? Yeah. As fuck. William, you've got the wee pass. Like, you have the pass that you can, like, you could get your balls out in the swimming pool in front of the kids <gasps> and you would get away with it. <laughs> the wee blue badge on it. Because you're disabled. Uh, you know, you, you brain damage. Yeah. So you have the ultimate, like, get out of. Go to the Ralph Harris suite, the yeah. Shankle Leisure Centre, do whatever you want. <laughs> They named it after I went to a, a water park in Tenerife once and I remember I had a pair of these swimming shorts and it was like uh, it's got the wee cheese grater fucking pants inside it it was cutting the dick of me and I, I was like I'm just going to cut these out Put, and they had flames on them too gangster and uh, when the first slide I went down hit the water <laughs> and bust them open and I mean like right up the front <laughs> and my whole cock and balls was out and I just had to like put my legs together and like tuck a bit of cloth over it and just walk about the water park all day like just in the shallow water like I'm alright because I literally just bust and there's nothing under it and I just bust it right up the front it's hilarious it was basically in two I should have just took it off and tied it cock out oh fuck me I can't breathe any other crack? <laughs> any other times you got your dick out? I don't <laughs> Who's the most famous well, person that's ever seen tw- your dick? It's a twenty. It's a twenty-fifth anniversary, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, twenty-fifth. I know. What's a six months we've been doing this? Six months. Which is and, fucking and crazy. And it's mad because. Are you gonna do this every fucking far ten now, like hundred or fifty? No, yeah, but I think we wanted to get you on as a guest. But I mean, I wanted to get you on because I always listen. To, this was the first podcast, and we've talked about it before. Like yeah. you doing your podcast was like the F- first podcast. podcast ever. Yeah, of anybody. Yeah. Yeah. What was the f- me? Rogan. What was the first podcast? Well, I remember doing podcasts when the only other one I knew of was uh, ATL, Riggsy's, like, one yeah. th- through the BBC for, like, new music. Like, I was listening to your very, very first one when I was, like, 13, 14. Um, was that Audio, audio Picnic? Picnic? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it's been a fucking long time ago. Yeah. I don't even know how long ago that was. This one's about eight years old or something. Is it? So it must be... Like, I, I, the first podcast I ever did, I didn't even do stand-up yet. And I've done stand-up for, like, 11 years-ish. Fuck, has it been not long? I'm old. It'll be 11. Oh, yeah, it'll be 11 years in, like, I remember October. you doing podcasts Something. when you lived down beside Queens. Oh, I did it way before that, too. I know, but I'm saying that's that's what I remember. It. I know, you know it's funny, because, I mean? like, at the time, it was that, that wee recorder on, like, a wee tiny tripod, and I would just sit and talk into it, like... And it, like on the dinner table like that but I used to listen to him when I was in London that, that was my fucking thing listening yeah. to him in London and then you started doing the Snapchat filters <laughs> and then we videos and I it was coming to Easter and you done one about fucking cutting the grass or something and oh, I was yeah. fucking in the middle of fucking Tottenham Hill and everybody around me was fucking 
not the same colour as me <laughs> and I'm fucking laughing my bollocks off in the middle of this shop and they're all looking at me like fuck and this guy was just going man what the fuck and I was like fucking calm guy it's funny as fuck <laughs> he's just looking at me like a gold like if he's near enough saying you shouldn't be here oh yeah stop you, making a scene but on top of everything you're, you're fucking roaring I know that's even like Maureen goes to me do you not make me funny videos anymore and I'm like, because it's not funny. It, you yeah, know, it's you like past the stage. It's not like even Snapchat was good for a minute. I don't know. Maybe the BBC would give you a wee <laughs> show. <laughs> <if you don't. laughs> Other people seem to be getting shows on BBC for doing Snapchat. Shit. You are on a mission. What? I'm just. <laughs> you saying. are on a mission. Am I gonna get sir? sued? <laughs> Dar McCor come back from Sweden. Dar McCor. <laughs> what do you say? You were talking about my potato sketch. <laughs> I uh, I went on. I was on that show. <laughs> In the height of the fucking buy the blender shit, because all they wanted really was to put buy the blender in the description when you're flicking through on the sky guy. Yep. So it, that's what they had featuring buy the blender Henderson. You done a bit of stand up in it? No, nope, I was in it for about two seconds. You're in it with Jackie Fullerton. No, I, that was a different. That, that was, was lol. That was lol. That was lol. Yeah. yeah. Which was get also your fucking programs right. So, also, so I was a young man at the time. Uh, yeah, it's fucking. They haven't made anything good yet. No. No, they're fucking... They, they, it's all shit. And it doesn't matter who does it. If I, yeah. if I did it, it'd be shit. It doesn't matter. It, it's it just would be what shit. they want you to do. Yeah. You would go in and they would just be like, we're going to give this to someone who hasn't written anything by their name <laughs> their whole life. <laughs> and they're going to tell you what's appropriate for a fucking 60-year-old housewife in yeah. like Kirkstown. And they... Uh, well. It's not. A, it's actually a good sign that they can't use you or don't know who you are. I yeah. can't remember who it was, but they're telling me the story of writing for BBC, and then they wrote the sketch, and the guy was like, "Now that's very funny. I find it funny. But what would a housewife in Kowalland think?" Mm. Kowal, Kuala- yeah. And they're like, "I don't fucking." When she's care. shoveling you coal in the back of her TV. Be fucking careful. That's my family fucking places. Is it? Is it? Yeah. Is we it? we done a, a DNA test. My dad's adopted, and <laughs> it was like came back, and it was like, "You're eighty two percent Irish, and you're from Kowalland." <laughs> yeah. That's it, just in here, and yeah. you're related to this O'Neill, this O'Neill, this Campbell, this fucking. And I was like, how am I related to so many? Oh no, they're different O'Neills, but they are related further back, about four generations, but they're not related now when they cut to you. So oh, I sure, like, um, yeah, my mate Sean is from our, where is it? Our boat. Somewhere down there. And you have to, if you're saying like Campbell's, you have to go, it's Ter- Campbell. Teresa's Campbell's. Or, you know, you have to like go like four generations before that. Before you come down to, and they don't want to know. They don't want to know us. Well, one one half don't want to know us, but the other half do because they didn't know about it. The funniest, just this popped in my head. The funniest thing that was ever filmed was the sketch we did in that bar near where I live, and it never made it. I, I'm gonna have to. I said this when the, I was actually telling someone about this the other day. I was like, when I die, someone write a letter to BBC and be like, there was a sketch shot for Late License. That's the funniest thing that you've ever filmed. Did I ever tell you about that? I, I have no idea what this so is. So me, me and Begley, you know Begley? Uh, I mean Begley. Yeah, yeah. We did a, like the, these country and western characters. Was it? Um, I can't even remember. The f- Chuck McGinley and the fucking man boy or something. Yeah, that's it. And uh, I had seen this show that was literally, it was shot in like Bally Sally. You remember that fucking thing? Yep. And the ma was a, a nurse. And through stress, she'd lost her voice. So the whole time she talked like that. <laughs> and I, I was like, I'm just going to, like, go, fucking, God help her. But she literally just, this one was, like, broken. And she just couldn't get her voice back. And I did that voice. And uh, we did all these country, like, you know, like, how to, I mean, it was it was actually a bit, bit ahead of its time. Because I've seen versions of it a million times where, like, people are like, oh, sure, country songs is only trucks and jeans and fucking, you know. I've seen it loads now. Yeah. But the the premise of this was we'd booked a gig and we turned up and there was no one there. And we're like, well, we sent you posters and all. Did you not advertise it? And then you ran the bar. That was your character. And you're like, oh, I did put up a poster. And like, where is it? In the toilets. So we all three of us are in the cubicle. And he, I'm like, why the fuck would you put one poster above a toilet? Sure he's going to fucking see this. And Getting real hated, like back and forth in this argument. And then all you hear is like... Like a piss noise, and I'm like, "Are you fucking pissing?" He goes, well, I'm, doing, "I'm at the toilet anyway." And we're having, and the cameras fucking giving it all this. And we're like shouting at each other, and piss flying everywhere, and, all, and it was fucking hilarious. And I'm like, I remember saying to Jackie, and he goes, "Oh, I couldn't give it out. It's not color graded." 
And I was like, it was the fucking funniest thing in the whole show. Like, oh, was this for a late license? Yeah. For, I, and yeah. they didn't use it. And, I, and they I wouldn't give me it, it either. because I was in it. I only get stuff for the BBC. <laughs> I only get stuff for the BBC if I'm on radio. And the part is. Can you play a scumbag yeah. from West Belfast or working class estate? They'll phone me up and they'll go, here, uh, Paddy, there's this part. I'm going to think you'd be great for it. What is it? Smack head from fucking... Yeah. Can yeah. you play somebody's working class cousin from the short strand? Like, yes. Just, everything I've ever been in or done is like, so there's this young man in a tracksuit. That's, yeah. that's it. That's yeah. all I can fucking do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Name. And then there was, I don't know if you remember, the, the bit with the phone rang. Who was I, was I t- was I saying this the other day? And I was telling this. Was it on the podcast or was I just telling you? I said in the Nile. It would have been the perfect teaser for this show because you know you know like Begley was on the mic and he was like, "Ladies and gentlemen, great to be here." Blah blah. blah. And the pan around. There's no one in this bar apart from you. And uh, he did that. And then for real in real life, the phone rang in the bar, and we just let it roll. So I was just about to pl- play, and we just sat there, and this phone rang for about fucking two minutes straight, just. Brrr, kept going kept going kept going got dead awkward and you could see McElroy like laughing a wee bit with a camera and then eventually it stopped and I just went three take one and as if to go back into the song <laughs> <laughs> and then could. I fucking killed myself laughing but I was like that's all you needed for the teaser was yeah, like just, just that, that whole bit yeah two minutes and then just like as soon as you go to play it just says like late license whatever where is it no one fucking knows I remember going in one time to read for something for Jackie and he was like yeah yeah come down and read these couple of parts and I went in and the first part was like in a cop shop and I had to answer the phone in the cop shop and I done it and he says can you do it again and I done it again and he went that's dead on thank you and I went was there not three other parts you want to read he says I know it's grand that'll do for the day I'll get you back again <laughs> I was telling me, fuck, what did I do in that? <laughs> I think he must have went, fuck, that's a cop. He can't play a cop. <laughs> <sighs> I know. It's fucking, they wouldn't. Oh, it's just not. It's a bad setup. Like, by the time you're in TV for that long, you've totally lost touch with, like, what's funny yeah. anymore. Yeah. It's very strange. Because there's, there's so much compromise has to be made. What well, will happen is they'll wait until we are all. They'll wait until I'm 60 and they'll wait until you and Mickey's 50 and 40 and you're in your 30s and they'll go here with this great idea for a show where you're Catholics and you're Protestants. Yeah. It's that's called the, millennial <laughs> warfare. <laughs> it's called the blocked up hole. <laughs> in the wall. Filling crew. the hole in the wall. Yeah. Crew. Um, do you reckon I think it'll be a great idea? Do you want to play it? No. It's called Give My Head Peace. Aaron McCann's the star. <laughs> He's had a lobotomy. And we're just trying to <coughs> fix him, really. That was a terrible idea. Uh, no, it's shite. You don't want any part of it. Like, yeah. I was talking to a wee girl the other day. I was talking about, she's like, oh, I'd love to do this and get into BBC. And all. I was like, don't bother your hole. I was like, just <laughs> fucking do whatever you Run. want. Run. Do yeah, yourself. That would be your advice to people, is just do your own shit. Yes. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you feel a bit like fucking outside of the loop sometimes, like, but, yeah. you know, you definitely, uh, we, we went, you're not waiting on anybody to tell you what you can do and what you can't do. We got invited to the thing writing, and it was through BBC, and it was the comedy unit. I actually get through to In Scotland? Yeah, they, they came over, and the girl was doing this whole thing, this whole spiel about writing, and the whole thing was about him. We want us to do like what this guy's doing, and I went, "Why is this guy not here?" Mm-hmm. And she was like, "When was that?" And I told you, it was like we done this. It was called the Niners. We done it for the BBC, and we done this whole program for the comedy unit writing sketches, and they picked nine of us, and we all wrote McGahey and all was involved in it. But you were the pep talk, the and exa- I was like. <laughs> Why don't you get do what Colin? this guy's done? Just fucking be skinned for about nine years, and then yes, uh, why don't you just bring Colin down? And she was like, "Oh, we have, we have spoke to Colin," and and I was like, "Why are you not here?" They don't know what the fuck. This is the problem. Like they they always try and go for like we got this new experimental show, and you're like, why don't you just deliberately try and make something good instead of half arsing it and then telling people it's experimental with like half arse this and then it's shite. And people go, sure, we only, they were just giving them a wee foot in the door. I just found it dead strange that they were inviting all these people in to write who were comedians or comedy writers and saying, 
we want you to rate what he's doing. Yeah. And I was going, he's done it. Why don't you get him? And even if you don't just want him, get him down and then tell him to tell us what to do. But then, because if you obviously think he's doing what he's meant to be doing, yeah. why don't you go and get him instead of paying nine of us? Yeah. It but didn't they get the him in and then be like, do things our way though. Do you know yeah, what I mean? No, it didn't get made. Do you know what? It didn't get made. So it just seemed to me like it was a big thing for trying to pull in money or using up like a grant. U- using up grants, probably. Yeah. Because it never got made and it never got Because they probably, I mean, there's a, there's so many like, you know, there's a lot of producers and stuff where they have to justify their job. So they will, like I've heard that even in, in things with like music stuff and all where like people are like, they just have to have their opinion on something. So someone will have a sketch and they go maybe I would take this out and blah 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 they don't know what the, they're talking about they're like yeah. take it out leave it in they don't fucking know what the difference yeah. is but they have to be like this passes through my filter I know the bit you're like a, a really good producer would just be like you know I'm sure they get them on like HBO and stuff where they just say to someone like yeah I need 12 episodes away you go you know I know that you're fucking make one pilot for us yeah. there's money and then like even, even if they really wanted to, why would they not approach the likes of you or, I don't know, somebody involved in comedy and say, right, well, he can't be the producer, he can't be the fucking head of comedy, but surely he could be an advisor on what we should, or what road you should be going down. Yeah. Do you know, that there, even alone, if they I would only do it if it was on a gold throne. No, but do you know what I mean? Even <laughs> if they were just... Send them in. But that's, that. you know, that's, that's like a consultant, you know, and I've seen like, you know, I've seen like, I takes from stuff that I like, you know, like fucking American stuff or Eastbound and Down or something. Eastbound and Down. Uh, and the bloopers are basically a guy with the script and they're all funny writers and stuff and they're just like, yeah, do it again with this line. Yeah, and they're like shouting improvised lines at them, which is kind of what comedians do when they're like having the crack anyway. So yeah. that's the perfect job. Just be like, say it like this but, and then like, you know, do this and everyone's laughing and they keep, it keeps getting funnier and funnier yeah. instead of six months in advance going like can you write the perfect joke and then like how many bits do you write and you think that's funny and they do it on stage and it takes on another form that you ne- you never landed on that yeah sitting on Tom with Steve a Tom does that he would like invite six people to his house and just brainstorm and they have a whiteboard and all and fucking just sits and goes what do you think about this what do you think about that and you put your ideas and then everybody gives a wee bit on it and then you talk about it he does that but that's you know like comedians should do that a lot more yeah it's weird. It's weird over here because it's small, and someone will be like, "I fucking, I give them that line." Yeah. But I, it's worked for like a few people have said a few things to me, and I've been like, "Oh, that is actually good." Yeah. You know, me and Mick, you're good at it. Like, yeah. I would say to him, and I don't say to anybody anymore because I get pulled about it. One time, people were like, "You're a cunt. You just go up to people all the time and go, you should fucking do this, do that." And I went, "Well, I'm not doing it no more." Who takes that? Like, who, took, who takes that? Like, I'm not even going to go and tell it. I um, remember Carl Spain doing it to me once, and I'd never met him before, and I was like, "Yes, he, he is fun. a cheeky cunt, though." Yes, he he's a I cheeky had, guy. I just out to me again. No, he's like, no, I'm not. <laughs> We're gonna be some combing through this episode. No, no, no. Honestly, what happened <laughs> to me? <laughs> <laughs> it's not you go to me. Why you just fucking? I don't make enemies. People aren't nice to me. I'm gonna fucking tell the story. Eight years later, you're like, I remember this one time. A, a complete cunt to me. Like it wasn't even, and it fucking backfired completely. But he is a full wind up merchant. Like he. he no, this wasn't a wind up. And he do it even if you don't know him. Like this, he didn't me. He didn't know me. He just heard of me, and we were in the Damnish, and a guy had booked him and Fred Cook to come up, and I was on, and he came over, and he went, "You're Patty," and I went, "Yes," and he went, "Patty McDonald," and I went, "Yeah," and he says, "Did you ever think of changing your name?" And I went, "No, that's my name." And he says, well, there is a, a Paddy McDonald. I says, no, he's Pat McDonald. Yeah, because that's fucking different. I says, no, he's in Far Ted. He's grey hair and he fucking does about cake. I says, I think people know the fucking difference. Uh. So that was straight away. Then he turned around and went, I don't even know if you're any good. So you go on in the middle. I know the Fred's good and I know I'm good. So I'll finish it and you go on the start. You can go in the middle. And then if you're shite, then it doesn't really matter because there's, there's been a good start and a good ending. And I, my mate was standing there and went, if you don't fucking punch him, I ain't going to. Like four of my mates are standing in the damn they going, this is some cunt coming up from a free state giving you shit. And I went, so I went, the only way I can shoot, go on and fucking do well. So I went on and smashed the bollocks out of it. It was in the middle of fucking Andy Town. Cars went on, 45 minutes of fucking agony and pain. Crowd. <laughs> and he's a good comedian, there's no doubt about yeah, it, but yeah. fuck me, did that backfire? Yeah. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's, it is funny, like, you know, 
yeah, yeah, you don't know what the fucking tone of that was. Probably bad, sounded bad. But he is a fucking, you know, he is, he is like that from the word go when he meets anybody. Mm-hmm. He is a fucking bit of a slabber, like. But it never stops or changes, you know, that's yeah. kind of the way it oh, is. Oh, it's just consistent then? Yeah. So he's just a cunt. But, it, like the first, <laughs> yeah. the first, but he's, but it, he's, but it, he's, he's a just, cunt in his way. He's yeah. constantly in that, you know, <laughs> slagging you half the time. You know, I don't think he means it. He's obviously yeah. not. Well, that's my only encounter with him. And that's I what I'm saying. He yeah. fucking, he, the first time I'd seen him, he he was waiting at the side of the stage at Queen's and he he was straight away was like, oh, I should do this. And I was like, how the fuck, the fuck is fuck it? Because yeah. he wasn't there when I went on, but he was headlining or something. So I was like, how the fuck is that? Um, so, but I don't, I probably, he probably was joking. You know what I mean? But mm. he's <laughs> like, oh, fuck, he's not come back to... <laughs> He has group. his address just in case. No, See, I never nice take a bad when people are like that because if someone's like, "You should do this," and I don't want that, I'll just be like, oh, "I made, I made cheers for the advice," and just be like, "Not doing that." I don't like, think. Don't, I don't, you don't, you dep- it, it, it totally depends on who it is. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. You know, if someone's been on before you and they just add shit, and then you come off and they're like, "You know, what you should do that. You should uh, throw." You're like, "Shut the fuck up!" But it, yeah. if it's Mickey or so, you know what I mean. Someone says something to you, you're like, "Oh, it's, it will be funny." Like, yeah, M- Mickey, me and Mickey do it all the time. We're You've got like the the seed of a joke, and you ten minutes before Lavery, you go, "Is there something funny about this?" Well, like, what would you do? And then he's coming at it, f- and I've done it with him too, like, like a fresh set of eyes. Yeah. And you go, "Oh, that'd be funny if you did Instead this." Of the and mansion then, you're looking, and then at you're it, like, yeah. "Yes," and you just write it down, and it, you know, you're not going to be like, "Can I get the royalties to that?" Yeah, you know, but it just depends who it is. But I think he he is just a just a fucking wind up all the time. Like, I don't think he was. I don't think he would have fucking came the whole way up there. Right, and yeah. Was he lovely to you? He was very nice to me. I don't think he would have went the whole way in the fucking enemy territory there and <laughs> started being a cunt. Like. <laughs> Just seemed that way. You uh, were like, ah, you can go on last and then not leave the building. <laughs> <laughs> he was lucky he had kneecaps before he <laughs> no, no, no. My mates were like, I can't believe he's talking to you like that. You know, it was like, and I was like, this isn't just some punter in a bar where I can fucking headbutt the cunt, like, you know mm. what I mean? If I headbutted him, that would have been, like, way it spread. Like, I thought it was bad all Porter were fingering people. Fuck, it would have been bad with me. <laughs> fucking headbutting <laughs> for a spread. Probably a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if people do any jokes about that. You know, it seemed to be, I that seemed to be a very... Uh, I did at the start, and I remember Pat Egan sent me a message and was like, Paddy, I really appreciate it if you didn't post about it. And I went, I'm a fucking comedian. And I stayed in his house, and I never came near me. <laughs> just jealous. Just jealous. Yeah. yeah. Just like what the fuck. She ain't, she ain't got worn like a fucking oven glove. <laughs> did she and stay with him too? No, he didn't stay with him. But I, did, did they not play some charity football match somewhere? And he fucking frisked, frisked, frisked him a wee bit. Did he? I. He I was she and stabbed me his table. That's a tough word to say. Frisked. <laughs> uh, yeah. I was just checking for your balls. Oh. Shane, have you ever heard about the thing in the pantomime? He's behind you. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, stop and it. And that Porter, if he had <laughs> been around in the 60s, would have been in the Carry On movies. Like, do you know what I mean? It would have, this could have, would have been, it would have been fine back then, but nah, it's like, no. But it's that raging, sweaty, fucking coked up, aggressive gay dude I'm talking about. You're like, exactly. Will you fucking sit down? Yeah. Just sit down, yeah, chill yeah, out. Yeah. He's got in there to be fucking like when people said grabbing dicks what around was here? he like? And I was like, he just seemed like a horny gay yeah. kid to me. That that was genuinely just settle down. Like, yeah, because you know. like I played with him in the comedy cellar, and he came up to me and he went, "Do you know where you're staying? I've met this one here, and I'm really I'm gonna go and fuck. Him. Like if I could fuck him, then the toilets will do it. You know that was his fucking. He was just a wee raging horny. Uh, and he had done well and, just a wee horn dog. Like. Yeah, and I was just laughing. And I was going like, if that was a fella with a girl, and he wasn't doing anything wrong. He was he was having a drink with him when I left the place, yeah. and then. Came back in at about three o'clock in the morning, man. Smell him. <laughs> no, he didn't. Did you know? <laughs> Pause it. Tom's got a wank in your front room. <laughs> Why is my dad beside you? <laughs> <laughs> That's after day. I thought it was cow speed. <laughs> I'll go on in the middle. <laughs> I know he's good, and I know he's good. <laughs> I'll suck you off in the middle. See what happens. <laughs> you should do yes. Yeah. <laughs> Any sugar in this house? <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to put this podcast land up being about 12 minutes long. <laughs> <laughs> they go to me all the time, fuck's sake. I just talk. I just I know you I mean I, I, there is a there is, you know, people talk about like, you know, toxic masculinity and men get treated different and all that. There was a weird hush thing about that. Yeah. You know, no one no everyone's like, oh, I'm not touching that way, I fucking yeah. with a barge pole, that that topic. 
Why? Maybe they don't fucking grope people. You no, know I mean yeah. it's like chat shit get banged, bro. <laughs> no, I mean. I'm getting one. I'm fucking getting one. We need to update the fucking. I want machine gun fire. What else is good? Go Next. surrender. <laughs> oh. Your woman through the fucking door. We need to get a Bryson speech. I want right? a kebab. Do you ever heard it? Say lovey. I just want a kebab. Talk about whistle. fucking zombie strength. Smashing that door. Like, and the guy just working there. Like, fuck off. <laughs> bang. I feel so bad for any fast food worker that works in somewhere. It's up like three in the morning. Mm. They must deal with some fucking chaos. Like. When I deliver Chinese, I got this same house in Beach Mode. We're phoning up. So they ordered a fried rice at like eight o'clock and I went down. It was a party happening. Just and one fried rice. Just the one fried rice. And you know shit was going down when it was just the one fried rice, you know. There was maybe another delivery driver that sold drugs or something. I don't know. But when <laughs> I turned up they were <laughs> they were disappointed. At that know? point you're like, why bother with a fried rice? <laughs> you know, I turned up and they were like There's a two bags of cat and a fucking whatever and like, have you got the rice? <laughs> I do. Do you know, was that the cold one? Cold cold we were, we're having the party because I remember we were there and they were all like partying and they were all looking out from the living room at me and they were like, and he's like, has anybody got money for this race? And I was going, what the fuck are they ordering just a race for, you know? And they were a bit disappointed and then it was like half two in the morning to be Cheney's mom was like, I have a delivery for Ch- for Beach Mom, do you want to take it? And I was like, fuck's sake, you're clo- I will be closed by the time you come name? back. Yeah, he's <laughs> he was a wee tiny Cheney's guy, he's called Nihai. And, uh, <laughs> fuck's sake. <laughs> so, he was like, We're down to 16 p- minutes. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you pay me now, Ugh. and then that'll be it. I was like 37 quid. So I gave him the 37 quid for it, and then I was getting 40. Uh-huh. So it was 250 I was making out of it, but I'd give him 37 quid. And I get down, and they were all in the party laughing like fuck, and nobody, and I bang in the window, and they were all laughing, and then they were going, No, no. Be quiet, be quiet, those are really be quiet, he's at the door, and I'm banging at the door, and I'm yes, fucking bastards, I bet this fucking thing, it's better fucking come out, and they wouldn't come out, so when I went, fuck it, I started opening things, curry, fuck the deal, <laughs> I fucked it in there, right, so the next day I turned up the Chinese, and I had tied the bag back up again, it was missing about three cartons, and the wee Chinese man went, you bastard, <laughs> <laughs> you fuck Chinese to <laughs> He didn't say fuck Chinese. <laughs> he didn't say fuck You fuck Chinese too with this, you dirty boss. I got phone call. Everyone know in street now. Freddy's kitchen fucking bastard driver. <laughs> and hear me. You better give me a 3750. Fuck you. Hear me. No, fuck you. <laughs> I was going to go down and rack the house and beat me. It was like I worked for nothing that night. You know what I mean? Oh, Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have just sat in the car and had it. All sat. <laughs> just, you get a free, you get a free meal, so it's not even like I don't even like eating out of it. Oh my god! Oh, you ep- fuck you're just gonna have to cut this episode like the Sopranos. Just cut, Hello. cut the black. It just starts with "Hello" and then it's just a load of sound. <laughs> 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 like a fan shop. <laughs> would you did you just get fan shops? You never would have got a fan shop down where you live, did you? What do I mean, like a like a. A mobile shop Selling vegetables no? That's sure No shit. it sold sweets And fags well, This guy sold everything This guy had fucking Like a like a green grocers in it And fags and sweets and I think had, you'd be sitting In your rallies and, and, and they all had different horns And there were certain ones You would use Like Mooners Or fucking Daggies Or Big Frankies Or I'm not using Big Frankies He's a dirty big bastard I seen him sucking The fucking the skittles and putting them back in and all that sort of shit was told so th- but they all had different the horns so you had one that used to come around it was an old mobile library and it went there's a fan shop quick right? the, light, the library's here <laughs> you would go out get to get books. you'd go out to get your man go out, go out and get such and such and they change for a bus of my for you all to go to school and you would come back in with fireworks and she would go what the fuck and be like oh, I sell fireworks what the fuck <laughs> and then he'll not have any he was telling me he wouldn't have any man did you spend my Frankie money? licks all the fireworks <laughs> 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 fucking bad fireworks on he there. licks all the bangers <laughs> the, <laughs> the fan shop the shit you bought in the fan shop was unreal <laughs> no, we did get them. Yeah, yeah, but there was one fella just that it was it was like Tesco's on a fucking there was everything in everything it. Everything in it. Yeah, that was a real proper fucking. Oh, was oh was a market like it was good shit. Milk, bread, and fucking eggs. Eggs <laughs> that turned your lips blue. <laughs> We couldn't even read the carton. Are you uh, sure they're bad? And had this on. Fresh burst. <laughs> 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 
made your lips blue? <laughs> like over 30 years and you die a heart attack or like immediately? <laughs> like fucking out the second fig. <laughs> There you know it's bad. There you know it's bad when you can buy one at a time. There were singles. Fags. There were fags at the so- yeah. There were fags that sold them. Six one fags. <laughs> what I used to do, my ma used to make me a lunch because because my dad worked, we didn't get free lunches, right? So my ma used to make me a lunch, and it was like two tins of coke, sandwiches, yogurt, fucking apple, banana, blah blah blah, right? But I had a fucking nicotine habit, so what I would do is on a Monday, <laughs> Wednesday, and Friday, I would smoke sell, a banana. <laughs> I would sell, I would sell my lunch, like individually, you know. So like, and it was all multiplex. <coughs> so it says multiplex. Do not be sold Aye. Saturday, right? Aye. Do not sell for fakes. Well, I used to sell my lunch and get like two, three quid, and then bought ten good, fakes. Good ten fakes were like ninety p. Wow. And then what I would do is bring them into school and then sell individual fags for like 50p right so it was like constant That's and then honest. what you would do is you'd work up till the weekend so not only would you have your fags for school you would also have your money for a car unit at the weekend <laughs> do you know what I mean so it was like entrepreneurial Smart. skills yeah and like I if was, Jesus was alive and fucking <laughs> like the career teacher was like Paddy McCall you're never gonna be anywhere and I was like I turn this bread find, into fucking I think I just find that I have fucking made myself 1750 this week Incredible. and I bought the cider's only fucking a pound Glass bottle, you know what I mean? When but, was this uh, the thirties? Teachers, I guess, is a primary school. This is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> do you know another thing I used to do? I lined my pocket with tin foil. So when the teachers came, you were smoking. You just dropped your fag into it, and it didn't burn. Stinking in a cloud of smoke, but you're like, <laughs> it was like, I don't see one. <laughs> do you know, it was. Like, I don't see it. Because <laughs> like the fucking PGM, stars, the PGM, the PGM, the pizza with meter sticks, the cults, no, the brother. Uh, we had these things called the ducks, and it was like underneath the school, and they were called the ducks because you ducked in it, and it used to be like old storerooms, and all the doors were taken off it, so it was just all free, and we all stood in there smoking. And there was this teacher called Jesus, basically because he had long hair and a fucking beard, and was like a karate fucking expert, and he had a meter stick. <laughs> as, as Jesus and he used to, was. He used to run in from one side to the other, beating a balix out of kids with a meter stick, and he fucking enjoyed it too much, do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. But it was, Put a glove on and all. He was like, <laughs> can't wait to win the ducks here. Quote the my Bible with, as he does it. Tape it off a stick. <laughs> but I I get fed up and I went, fuck this, <laughs> because he hit me across the legs and it was that bad of a hit. I was cut on both legs, like two big mm. fucking marks. He hit me seriously because I didn't get up and run. You just you just took one for the team? And I took, and it was sore as fuck and I, and I didn't want to cry in front of everybody but seriously wanted to cry. Yeah. So... I fucking went home and when I seen my legs that night in the house, I went, fuck that. I'm not, like, you know. Not taking that. Yeah. yeah. So I stole a metre stick out of it, but it was a big fat one. And I had it. And I says to the lads, right. You know, the one that you, like a baseball metre stick? <laughs> it was the one that had the handle in the middle that you could hold it to mark the board. So it was, was a big fuck. Wood? It wasn't, no, it was, it was thicker. It wasn't a thin one that he used. Like, he used this wee fucking thin You know those metre sticks that are sharpened up one side? Yeah. <laughs> It was like jail I done it up like a shaft. <laughs> but I says to all the boys, right, see when he runs in, I'm gonna turn the corner, come in behind him. So like thirty people knew what was happening. And then he runs in the ducks, everybody runs out from school, five hundred kids, and I come in behind him and he's standing like at the meter stick and everybody's stern and he's sort of looking like what the fuck is everybody staring at? And I come up behind him and fucking whack fucking clean over his legs. And as soon as I done it, my balls dropped like I fucking went. What do you do now? <laughs> and he just he just <laughs> dropped to the ground and sort of went, fuck, it was sore. Like I fucking came across. I run home, couldn't breathe, get into the house. And my dad was like, what's the fuck I'm on her? And I was like, I just killed Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus was on his knees up in the school and my dad was like, what? First crucifixion now, <laughs> this. I hit him with a meter stick. And here's my dad. What do you mean you had a teacher in me? I had a teacher with me. Oh, for fuck's sake, my man come in. He's had a teacher and all we're going to have my mama. What'd you do that for, Nimi? What do you see? And I pulled down the trousers, showed my legs, and my man went, I fucking knew you had a mind fucking that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was just a long prank for you to be like, there's my balls. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> my man get into the car and we're up to the school I remember walking in and the headmaster and the secretary standing there and the secretary's like that poor man's lying in there you want to see the state of his legs like your son that's, that man's in his 60s and your son in him <laughs> that man's 2,000 years old <laughs> <laughs> that's the son of the lordship John that's now 
And uh, my ma says, is that right? When we see my son's legs, they remember, take your trousers down, they remember the Christian brother, like the headmaster going, go and take them down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Patrick, let me see, let me Find see. Find this Can you bend over and like, see? And then when I show my legs, they were like, oh, oh. Yeah. And my mum was like, yeah, it was done yesterday. Yeah. So this is why he done it. So I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll we cancel the cops coming up for my son. Yeah. And I'll cancel the cops coming up for him. Yeah. And we'll call it quits. Yeah. And everybody we'll went We'll have out. the rematch next everybody, round. <laughs> see, when I walked into the yard at lunchtime, everybody went, yeah, I'm fucking banging the windows. No, somebody <laughs> lit a bit in fire, and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> the teacher was like, there's <laughs> going to be an apocalypse. <laughs> when they stopped, it was the like, up, the I uprising. couldn't believe it. Everybody was like, fucking hard you get back in. Oh, that was fucking amazing. And all ears, mate. Fuck, I don't know. And then it was like brought in their room. You're not allowed to talk about it. And I was like, Hardy and I talk about it. Like, <laughs> too late. <laughs> let's <laughs> talk about it. You know, let's all get it out of your intervention. But, uh, fuck, <laughs> I hit him some fucking Did molecule. you ever see Jesus again? Or was yeah, that the end of his teaching career? He, he comes to me in the middle of the night. <laughs> he goes, <laughs> Patrick, you hurt my legs. <laughs> 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 uh, legs was racked. <laughs> he's probably fucking dead now. I like the way he was sixty at the time. Yeah, uh, probably. Probably. <laughs> Join us next week, folks. <laughs> Bobby <Wouldn't laughs> reminisces like, about more dead teachers he's assaulted. Jesus, what a nickname! Look, is that the only teacher you've had? No. <laughs> but there's a difference. The other ones. <laughs> Sorry, we're gonna ignore that fear. The that flashback you had. There. <laughs> the other ones were after school finished. Do you know what I mean? It was like, here, do you remember that kid? And I was doing the door, and they were drunk. But that's a long story. We're not going that one because it was. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember I was fourteen and you bit the cunt out of me? Well, look at me now. <laughs> uh oh. Fucking Kill Bill with all your old teachers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all that the rest noise. of them are <laughs> <laughs> Can't hear them. <laughs> How long have we been talking now? Uh, one hour. Oh Jesus Christ! Oh. It's up to you boys. Whatever you want. So I'm having fun, like, but if you guys, I'm easy. I just like to go home before half. What time? What time is? Quarter it? past. Uh, so unless you, yeah, suppose we well, wrap it or yeah, no, more? yeah, no, we'll wrap it up. We'll wrap it up. Wrap it up. How do you normally wrap it up? Wrap it up. Uh, we normally just look at the camera and speak awkwardly. So well, this was episode 25, for, for this one, For this one, we're going to have to say, um, if you've been a teacher and affected by any uh, past people's attacking <laughs> you, please contact us. Contact Paddy's man. <laughs> if you were a teacher and you assaulted me when I was younger, I know where you live. I was expecting you to say, your mom was like, come here today, I fucking, you know, get laid into it a bit here and just really make it look bad. Oh, my man. Before going into the... The school. She didn't need to. It was, it was fucking pretty bad. Like. What are we talking? Like, how, what did it look like? Just purple, probably. It was purpley bruised, bloat, but the top bit where he hit me, it obviously had like a fine ledge, and it had cut the leg, like sliced the leg. Both legs were sliced at the top. It is mental. You were just allowed to fully bait children. I know. <laughs> my ma told him the to baiting, so my ma didn't even have a leg to stand on. My ma was a teacher, and went to my schools and went, if he fucks about. Beat the fucker. <laughs> and she'll admit that. Yeah. So I said to her, you've no leg to stand on. She went, I meant with her hands. Not with a fucking Put the brass knuckles weapon. on. Don't be fucking whipping them. Yeah. Jesus Christ, man. A punch in the face of a child is one thing. <laughs> <laughs> a ruler to the back Breaking of the legs. Yeah, you yeah. can slip a finger up him, but don't be fucking racking his legs. <laughs> <laughs> is he supposed to go to the shafts for me? <laughs> The fall up, Frankie's fall up. <laughs> Dirty big boy, sucking all Frank, the individual skittles. Frankie, Frankie, what a dump. Do you see any meter sticks? Got Catherine with, with nails in it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have any fall chaps with Tully Carnot? Um, all I can think of is like the pokey that would... You probably weren't allowed out, you can't. Why? Cause? Cause I'm disabled. Uh-huh. Cause I'm disabled. You just seemed to me like you lived a sheltered life, like somebody else was sent to the shop, not you. No, I was. I'm just, I grew up in a different time from you, do you know what I mean? The troubles were over when I grew up. Mm. Do you know what I mean? We, we stopped beating children as much. Mm. Well, we did have the pokey who would sell everything. The pokey. Pokey? The pokey. The van shop? Where I've never you? heard the term van shop, like. Yeah. No. It's a very imaginative <laughs> term. It's a van, it's a shop. Van shop. Well, technically, it was a fucking library turned into a shop on wheels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> these bo- these books aren't selling too well right here. <laughs> 
<laughs> Do fags and black cats. There yeah. we go. <laughs> Do you, want, do you want any fireworks? It's February, I know, but get them now. Uh, <laughs> it'll be a shortage. A shortage. Can I have two dub dubs, please? No, the only one I remember is that we were getting served with a pokey <coughs> and just two lads pulling up in a car, pulling the pokey out and beat the fuck out of them for selling fags to kids. That's the only notable thing ever happened. Yeah. That's it, you know what I mean? So power milk is really. Uh, yeah. You didn't pay your money this week for knocking flakes out your car. <laughs> We told you earlier now, these screwballs are fucking straight. No, they're like, don't, don't be over, you're damaging kids. Ignoring the fact they're just curb like stopping them in front of the children. Power Milties, if we had a technically done podcast during the Troubles, we could have been sponsored by the Emmons. Really? Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah, keep the lights on, <laughs> yeah. keep the building you, safe. You, 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 you're sponsored by them whether you want it or not, yeah. do you know what I mean? You, well, we, we would have made a fucking fortune too. Jake so? Oh, absolutely. Warren's dad was telling me they were on a site once and, you know, the boys came <laughs> down like... Looking a bit of protection money, and they're like, "Well, what can you do? Like, fucking, got to do it." Handed it over, and sure enough, some fellow sat there, like, like watching the site nearly yeah. every night. Yeah. And then at Christmas, bought them all Thorndon's chocolates. That's a, that's a that's a nice power military. That's it? lovely, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, over, over cheers for the business guys. Over, See you next year. <laughs> over in Ardoin, they were building houses on the interface. The Raj just gave so us chocolates. That there was, was that lovely. There was one who was an ex power military from Ardoin. Right, and he worked this side of the site, and then they had one from Glenbrun, and he had been in for the Lord's Parmelies, and they worked on that side of the site, right? And we were there one day, and they brought in like sheets of insulation, and the two of them were lifting them, and they're dead light, even though they're eight before, but the two of them were carrying it together, and I went, "What are they going to do when they get to the middle? Because he's not allowed over, <laughs> and he's not allowed over." So they got to the middle, and they were like, "Do you want to go and get somebody to help you?" Like there was an actual border between it, even though it wasn't marked out. But he wasn't allowed onto that side, and he wasn't allowed on that side. Pitch out the BBC. That'll be made tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Building over the bridge, or what the yeah. fuck would it be called? Uh, tree, <laughs> tree North. Building, building over Building the, bridges. Building bridges. <laughs> building barriers. <laughs> or they'll get a local comedian and you can play both parts. <laughs> <laughs> the camera will just go from that side to that side. He'll have an earring in, and he'd be wearing a Celtic top. Yeah. <laughs> 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 We're really alike, really. Only, our only budget today is <laughs> 20 quid. Did you bring your Celtic top from home? Thank you. Yeah. Oh, I have one. I have an earring. <laughs> oh, my God. But, yeah, no thanks for. Yeah, thank you very it. much for having us over. No problem at all. He's got to do a live podcast at some point. We have uh, one. Sold out. Sold out. Oh, you do? Limelight one. Oh, fuck, are you going Civil Vander. War. Mm-hmm. We called it Silver War because we didn't have a podcast. The podcast we, was made to support the Civil the show. War. We we done the podcast to sell the show, so we decided yes. to do a show. Yeah, and then like we started stand a up po- yeah initially a show together. Right, and then I had fucking sold out the Aust- the limelight, and you then I was the, doing Ulster Hall. Yeah. He was like, "Do you still want to do this?" And I went, "Yeah, fuck it. I said I would do it with you." So we booked the limelight to do that, and I said, "We'll start a podcast to fucking." promote the gig and it fucking took off and here we are just getting abuse from strangers at three in the morning it's great living the dream yeah lethal good yeah times. it's went downhill so <laughs> we're only 25 episodes in but it's really went downhill yeah. from the start yeah. yeah big boom at the start oh uh, big fella from carrick for us like i looked up when potty was a wee bit more fucking no telling us what way the opinions really it's, are, but I don't like it now where they're just sitting and talk ballocks. Uh, it's it's like the views haven't gone down or anything, or the ratings no. haven't gone down, but it's like I've just decided. I like that one story. I've picked story the side now. <laughs> I've, picked, I've actually picked the side. But we like, I like that one story you did. If you could make the podcast just variations of that. Uh, thank Polly, you. Are you going to have any other presents on this? or Just, <laughs> just the one. But actually, we've said we're, we're going to talk about it, right? The comedian I get asked the most about is you. Okay. Right? And the fucking, they always say it. They always go to me. Here, <coughs> man, fucking nah. Uh, bar. Bar. It's always bar. No, it used to be. Yeah. The, the Noah's name there. Aye. Your, your big man can't get us. Like, he must be a. I'm like, what? Well, and they're like, <laughs> he must be a. Trans. And I was like, a what? And they're like, he must be a fucking snake, like, is he? <laughs> What the fuck's a snout? A prolison. Oh, right. Or they'll say a prod or a hun, right? And I'd be like, funnily enough, neither do you mention it. 
he's actually Jewish and they're like fucking new <laughs> fucking I'm probably new more Jewish some, than I am fucking he says I fucking knew yeah, there's something about him something about him there's something about like, him what about him and they're like cause he doesn't talk about it, what he is yeah you know so th- I think it's because I really talk about what I am yeah and because he doesn't, they're intrigued. I remember being younger going on their I Am Fighter videos and beneath the people quoting it, there would just be people like, Barry's a prod or Barry supports Rangers. Like, Barry's not real. I mean, for a long time, it was just like, where's he from? That was the, That's all people needed to know. Yeah. Because would mention a few places. The, like, even that accent was so vague and had bits of fucking everything. everything. And, you know, and then didn't me- mention loads of places. So people were just like, where's he from? And like, it gives a fuck. Like, yeah. But here they're really, like, sometimes just under our video, you'll go be like, why do we have 70 comments under this? And someone's just started a full sectarian argument underneath mm-hmm. it. No relevance to the podcast. The best one was I got a contacted on a Saturday night. It was like, here, mate, I'm a drug dealer from the Shankle. I'll pay you a thousand pounds if you come up and just tell me and my girlfriend's stories now. You'll be safe as fuck. I'll send you a text. That's a dude wants you to fuck his girlfriend. That's what, it's Al Porter. Imagine that. You're just in the middle of a story. He's like, Paddy, how long are you talking about? I need a pesh here. Mm. Stop right there. Mm. And you're just waiting in the living She's room. She's in a dressing gown. Yeah. Basic dance thing. Do you want a pack of crisps, Sally? <laughs> I'm alright. Do you want me a cup of tea or something? I'm alright. I'll have to finish this up before Gogglebox goes. <laughs> <laughs> a wee Chinese in there, a couple of chicken balls. You want me to heat it up for <laughs> you? Known, known loyalist, Colin Gales. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No one noticed, yeah. <laughs> I knew it. Fuck, I knew it. Knew it. <laughs> but it's funny, like, where I grew up, which was, like, literally between, like, Rathfern and Monkstown. Mm-hmm. Very loyalist areas. Yeah. But then I went to school in Ballyclare, which I know is a proddy town. Yeah. But it's the country, like. Yes. And then, it, unless your school is, like, a Catholic school and it's hammered into you, it's just school. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's yeah. no fuck. Like, yeah. I don't feel any sort of pull a... Either way. You'd have had like song, like one song in assembly in my school, but that's it. Yeah, but I already hated know, fucking the church. Is, yeah. The size is a terrible song for uh, that when you're scared. Billy oh, Boys no. has done Penny Arcade. <laughs> 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 but like, there was not, you know, I, 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 I never, no one in my family went to fucking church or what, like, there was no generations yeah. way back in Armagh somewhere. My great granda was like a, Orange man, apparently. Yeah, but that was it. No one. Gave, everyone it. was just. <laughs> They'll go down everybody was. Fuck a fuck, but everyone. You know what I mean? It was just like. What's that Theo Vaughn joke? He goes. Everyone. He goes. The the relate or the race was poor. No. That was like that's what the fuck. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was yeah. like none of that. And then you go to uni, and it, it doesn't matter what the fuck you are, it leaves you pretty quickly. Yeah. And then I just have never give a fuck about it at all. Even though sur- you know you go down the streets, fucking. Union Jacks and big fucking skulls with fuck, you know what I mean it's all going on but like yeah because that's my know. thing was like I never really cared but where I was it was like yeah. so fucking intense exactly but then you just I don't give a fuck like it's you know not like you you big sectarian bastard yeah <laughs> I'm a product of my society you can't, get, my you can't get brought till the fucking long cash every Saturday and that fucking <laughs> do you know what I mean why am I getting took here because it's your family are in jail <laughs> and you're going to see them right okay <laughs> didn't know any difference until I went to America and I was like oh, fuck we really live in a fuck up society like, and people over there didn't even know where we were thought we were Scottish or something good man he's away on he's had enough had enough I thought he was away already <sighs> No, I don't. I just Amazon, fucking you, can't you be arsed. You want a head? Yeah, wrap it up. I'll go. Yep. I'll leave my own office. <laughs> Not so <laughs> saying we'll all have it. See you later. We'll this is you getting affected, by the way. Aye. Carl Spain sent me up to take over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get a fucking kneecap with a meter stick after this. It's <laughs> mine now. Forgetting Cheers for having me, guys. No problem. Them. Thank you very much, mate. Yeah, thanks Great for having episode. us up. Really appreciate yep. it. Congrats. Yes, on, on the, the 25th 25. episode. 25. Oh my god. I don't, I don't know. Any I have. Here's the 25 more. <laughs> <laughs> Mon- See you at 50. Montage of all clips. Uh. <laughs> Memories. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. All the best.